Welcome to the Stroll Gamble Show. Today, we're excited to introduce a new segment where we dive into the world of craps. As a fan of the game, I'm thrilled to share my knowledge and passion with all of you. We're starting off with a closer look at the craps tables at South Point Casino. Join us as we explore what makes these tables unique and share tips to enhance your gaming experience. Let's roll the dice with Stroll's Craps Corner. In today's segment, we'll delve into several key aspects of craps gaming. We'll start with the table atmosphere, exploring the overall vibe and energy you can expect at the craps tables. Next, we'll cover the odds offered and how they can influence your betting strategy. We'll also take a closer look at the table layout and the number of tables available. Additionally, we'll discuss available bonus bets that can add an extra layer of excitement to your game. We'll also highlight some unique rules that aren't common, giving you insight into rare and unusual rules you might encounter. Finally, we'll wrap up with some miscellaneous tips to elevate your craps playing experience. The craps tables at South Point Casino offer a lively and vibrant atmosphere with a dynamic environment due to their location among other table games. This casino is particularly popular among locals, contributing to an energetic vibe with enthusiastic players and a sense of camaraderie. An additional feature is the TVs surrounding the craps tables, mounted high up on the walls of the surrounding bars, allowing you to watch your favorite sports games while playing. There's also a good mix of both pass line and don't players at the tables, providing a balanced atmosphere for all types of craps enthusiasts. Overall, I would rate the atmosphere at the South Point craps tables a 4 out of 5, as I personally prefer a more vibrant atmosphere. At South Point Casino, the craps odds have some unique aspects. You can take double odds on your pass line and don't pass line bets, meaning the maximum odds are twice your original bet. For the numbers 4 and 10, this is always the case. However, there's an unwritten rule that allows for around 2.5 times odds for the numbers 5 and 9, and up to around 3 times odds for the numbers 6 and 8. When it comes to place bets, for the numbers 4 and 10, the payout is 2 to 1, and this is automatically considered a buy bet. You'll pay a 5% commission on your winnings, with the commission being $1 for bets up to $25, and $2 for bets between $26 and $50. For the numbers 5 and 9, the payout is 7 to 5, and for the numbers 6 and 8, the payout is 7 to 6. For lay bets, the payouts are 1 to 2 for the numbers 4 and 10, 2 to 3 for the numbers 5 and 9, and 5 to 6 for the numbers 6 and 8. A 5% commission is required before winning for all lay bets. Field bets at South Point offer a great deal, with the number 12 paying triple. Overall, I'd give the craps odds at South Point Casino a 3 out of 5. The limited pass line odds of 2 times might be a drawback for some, but the automatic buy for the numbers 4 and 10 for bets less than $20 definitely adds value and makes up for it. At South Point Casino, you'll find a total of 8 traditional craps tables. The table minimums are generally consistent across the board. Most tables have a $10 minimum, but during slower hours, you might find a table with a $5 minimum. During peak times, some tables might have higher minimums, such as $15 or $25. The craps tables are typically about 12 feet in length, which is the standard size. This allows for up to 14 players at a time, with 7 players on each side of the table. When it comes to the bounciness of the tables, they are moderately bouncy, providing a fair balance for the dice roll. This level of bounciness might not be ideal for dice control players. Overall, I'd give the atmosphere at the South Point Craps tables a rating of 4 out of 5. The tables can become quite crowded on weekends, which might be a downside for some. However, the consistent table minimums and the occasional $5 table during off-peak hours help balance out the experience. Now, let's transition into discussing bonus bets at the craps tables at South Point Casino. At these tables, you won't find the typical bonus bets that are common in other casinos. This means there are no fire bets, all tall, all small, make him all or other similar bonus betting options available. 
The game remains focused on the traditional craps betting options, providing a straightforward experience for players. As far as I'm aware, there aren't any unique craps rules at South Point Casino that differ significantly from the standard rules enforced by most casinos. However, if any viewers have experienced or know of any unique rules specific to South Point, please share them in the comments below. It's always interesting to hear about the different variations and house rules that can be found in various casinos. Now, let's dive into Stroll Secrets. One valuable tip for playing craps at South Point is regarding comps. To get comps while playing at the craps table, you'll need to engage with the pit boss. Politely ask if your action at the table qualifies you for a comp meal at one of the restaurants within South Point. The pit boss will check your play and let you know if you've earned enough for a comp. It's a great way to enjoy some extra perks while playing your favorite game. That wraps up this edition of Stroll's Craps Corner, featuring the South Point Casino. I'm truly grateful for your viewership. If you enjoyed this segment and want to see more, please don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Your support means the world to me. Until next time, keep rolling those dice and may the odds be ever in your favor.